off to see the hypnotist this morning, as you do. Breakfast today I'm having oats with raisins, got cheer and flax seeds which I'll grind. Gonna have some cocoa powder for a change today, a scoop of brown rice powder. So basically I'm cutting my calories down as I'm going into my diet, you know, deeper into the diet. So I'm having less oats, so, you know, the protein count is dropping. So most people don't need protein powders, but for an athlete on a cut, it can be a benefit, I think. Um, got the old B12, vegan DHA, vegan glucosamine, and I'm going to just add a little sweet now. I'm using xylitol, which is made from birch bark, um, which apparently has got some good health benefits. Off to see the hypnotist this morning, as you do. My friend pulled in a swanky new building and uh, he said, I've got to wait a minute for him. Let's have a look around. Wow, that was so powerful. So we basically and did some of the old feelings of, you know, he said, why, what am I wary of with my talk? And sort of an old feelings of if a load of people are looking at you and you can feel uncomfortable. And so he said how somewhere you've been programmed negatively because the world is full of cynicism and criticism, skepticism, but he reminded me, so we undid like those negative feelings and then he reminded me that I'm just coming from a place of love I'm just trying to help heal the people the world you know save the animals and how can that be a bad thing and everyone's coming to see me and I'm just giving love I'm coming from a place of love and how can that ever be a bad thing and yeah I just remembered like instead of just being anxious about a talk came up, coming up I left there feeling excited that I can share my gift of love to the world and try and heal it. I've been to Paul before, he is amazing. I've seen another lady as well, Stella Knight. Both in Norwich, Paul Gibson and Stella Knight had excellent results from seeing both of those. So if you're in Norwich, um, I'll try and remember to put links in the description. But um, I just sort of forgot and it just has changed the way I'm looking at it. And I'm just, just feeling really good. Just really happy that I'm going to be helping people. I can that be bad to be excited. I am excited. One really interesting thing I learned there today. Um, so I noticed that Paul was would tap my arm when he was saying something. Where, when, when I was feeling, it was bringing up feelings of positivity and confidence, and he would tap my arm. And so I asked, you know, afterwards what that was all about. And so just basically he's reinforcing that positive feeling. Um, so that's something I, that I can do with my clients when I'm training them. I'm often, I am quite tactile. I think touch is important for humans. Obviously not everyone's up for it, depending on their past. But I'll often pat my clients at least on the shoulder or something like that when they do well. And he's saying how, you know, you get that positive feedback you know verbally but then when you get like a tap then you can just have that tap and it'll make you feel that positive feeling so I think I do it quite a lot anyway when my clients are doing particularly well I'm gonna make a mental note to really praise them which I do a lot but I'm gonna make sure I like pat them on the shoulder and then I'm gonna use that more to inspire them to G them up it's gonna be a particularly hard set I'll pat them on the shoulder Remind them that they're awesome. Yeah. And the other thing he said was when we're a child, so when we receive hugs from our parents, 
So that makes us have that feeling of love. And so that's why even into adulthood, hugs are important. It's basically anchoring, you're remembering that feeling of, of complete love. It's cool stuff, isn't it? So I was in a rush today, no time to get some decent food together. So in a pinch, I've got some of this brand, basmati rice, whole grain. I just found these taco beans from te good old Tesco. And we got uh, just a mixed salad from Subway. Got some nice medjool dates to go with that. So we're still getting our 40 grams of protein, 175 carbs, boom. Hello, and now the taste test. Let's go taco beans. Different. Sort of mildly spicy. Mm. Not really like chili beans, but um did I describe that, but it's really nice. You know, about 67p. Good. Before this vegan revolution, this would seem normal. This belfry is dedicated to vegan green mum. Enjoy! <laughs> Vegan! <laughs> One bell <laughs> feet. <laughs> Pete's got new trainers. He's got new trainers on. For they Jordans. No, they're mine. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Go! Pinch herbivore. <laughs> Look at these plant based games. <laughs> nice feet. Yep. Halfway. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Yep. Nine, one more, yep. Squeeze. Yeah. Good job, dude. Three. <laughs> four. <laughs> five. <laughs> six. Seven. <laughs> I'll have some of what he's having. <laughs> In retrospect, the protein was a little low. So I've got some of these as well. Chickpea, roasted chickpeas. So 6.6 .6 grams of protein will make up to what I needed there. And it's a tasty snack. is a duplicate of meal tea, which was delicious, so I'm pleased. Thank you, do you want to be in my vlog? Morgan's in the house. Have you got a YouTube channel? Yeah. What's it called? Check out your channel. It's called... Water. I don't even know why I named it, but it's just the way it runs. So don't go on it and don't like and subscribe. We won't put a link in the description. Adios, amigo. Everyone who walks past would say that my food smells gorgeous. I don't feel that way about dead fish. That's not much. So I went to the hypnotist and then yeah. was made to feel really positive and confident about what I'm doing and that people want like what I've got to offer. And then all day it's just been a stream of pro possession of one person after another just asking me about health and nutrition. Like more, and I, I know they normally ask me that because I'm a PT and whatever. But it's all been to do with like veganism and it's just everyone was asking me, one after the other. And then I was in the city with Gemma, hanging out, <laughs> subscriber. And um, yeah, this lad came up, Simon. Hi Simon, if you're watching. Really lovely lad and saying how he loves the channel and how he's vegan. Yeah. 
And we've been in the game been 14, 8, 16 months, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he said he'd been vegan for two years. Oh, did he? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and <my> uh, <laughs> he said he turned his sister vegan. So, you know, we're all having an effect on everyone and they're having an effect on other people. But it was like the universe was telling me, like, yeah, you know, you're right to be confident. You're doing a good thing. Here's another bit of proof, evidence. <laughs> you know, what do you say that we're sort of scientists and we look for evidence? Yeah. And that's some. Our brains are like a scientist. Yeah, our brains are like a scientist looking for evidence. And now I'm getting evidence of positive stuff, reinforcing it. And make me feel good about what I'm doing. Yeah. And rightly so, we're saving the world. Fucking cool is that? Yeah. Dinner this evening is this delicious chickpea and potato curry served with quinoa and a wedge of lime. And that will be very, very delicious. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Go Feeking for Victory.